our teching facts for you this afternoon at 4 o'clock on weight loss drugs. There is a medication on the market right now that is a fraction of the cost compared to others. Some even calling this a miracle drug. We talked to an upstate doctor about why. Metformin is approved to treat type 2 diabetes, but is it a wonder drug? There's new research about other benefits relating to cancer, dementia, and it may be able to increase your life expectancy. So to discuss the potential of this drug, I am joined by Dr. Ben Friday. He's a family physician with Spartanburg Regional Healthcare. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And I think there is some excitement about this drug because it does seem to have a lot of potential benefits. So let's first go into what is metformin and how does it work in the body? Sure, so metformin is classically a diabetic drug, right? So if you have type two diabetes, more than likely it's the first drug that you're gonna start. Um, it's, a, it's been around for 50 so years. Um, it kind of helps your body take the insulin that your body makes and helps it work better with your muscles to pull in glucose. Um, so it really kind of sensitizes your body to uh, the glucose and the insulin in your body already. Now, let's go into the other potential benefits. What do we know about this drug in cancer? So in cancer, we're starting to see, and this has been going on for a while, and all of it's observational, we're starting to see folks who are on metformin tend to have less development of cancer as they get older. We're also starting to see that their cancer spreads at a slower rate. Um, this has been ongoing from observational studies over the last several decades. Um, it's not always universal for all looking at different cancers, but we are seeing a lower rate with breast cancer, with bone cancers, uh, colorectal cancers, and prostate cancers. Now, was it, what about dementia? So dementia is really a uh, kind of the, the, the next step. Um, so what we see with uh, dementia, what we see with metformin is that we'll actually decrease some of the uh, deleterious things that happen to your cells as you get older. Hmm. So a lot of the membranes of the cells start to fail, a lot of the DNA of the cells start to fail. We think that metformin will actually stabilize and cause that to happen less as we get older. What hmm. we found is folks who are on metformin, whether they have diabetes or not, tend to actually have less dementia than folks who are not on it. Have they studied the actual cells that are failing less? Great question. So, no, it's hard to actually see those cells and actually get able to be able to get down to the cellular level, but that's the proposed mechanism of how it's working. All right, and let's go into anti-aging. Yeah. What so, are the potentials there? Oh, so that's a great question. So when we're talking about anti-aging, one of the, the most important pieces is kind of laying the groundwork of what that means. It's not a youthful agent. It's not something that's going to help with wrinkles okay, or with not for my face right unfortunately <laughs> right um, what it is going to help with is some of the chronic age-related diseases that come about yeah. most of those things are things like cancer which we've already discussed heart disease dementia um, even bone health yeah. it can slow down some of the inflammatory factors that are uh, really thought to be at the key of aging last question uh, what do we know about this drug and weight loss yeah, so great question. So right now, weight loss is obviously a big item, right? We're seeing a lot of patients request medications like Ozempic and Wagovi um, that can be used for weight loss. Metformin, while not as effective as those medications, can help with weight loss. So if you're someone who needs to lose you know, 5, 10, 15 pounds, metformin can be a cheap alternative. The injectables like the Wagovi, like the Monjaro, um, like the Ozempic, those tend to run up to $1,200 a month, whereas metformin's really gonna cost you, you know, $10 to $20 for three months and can be super beneficial okay. for that. So that's $10 to $20 for three months versus about $3,000 for three months for the other one. Right. So, I mean, that is huge. Right, and it really yeah. opens the door for a lot of folks to be able to, to have access to something that may be able to help with their weight. Okay, well, good to know. Is it a pill or is it an injection? It, it's a pill. Oh, and that's good to know as well. All right, well, thank you, Dr. Friday, for joining us today and explaining a little bit of what metformin is and the, the potential that it has. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's always so interesting to hear more about these different medicines, Carrie. Mm -hmm. And so metformin, that's not one you typically hear about for weight loss or for the other uses. So why is this one more on the down low, I guess? Yeah, well, this has actually been around for a very long time, but you probably haven't heard about it because it's a generic. So there's mm -hmm. no pharmaceutical incentive, you know, there's no money incentive to advertise it or to actually do more research on it. Most of the research we've seen recently is from universities, okay. but for the pharmaceutical
pharmaceutical companies, if there's not much money potential, then they have no incentive to do the research. So I think there could still be something in the pipeline to come as more universities are looking at this drug. But I think all of these uh, diabetes drugs could uh, mm -hmm. you know, have potential as, as we go on in decades. You know, metformin's just been around for so long, so they can really look at all the data. Whereas some of these new ones to the market, we'll see. Right, okay, we'll keep an eye on it, that's for sure. Mm -hmm.